Hi guys and welcome back to our 31 Days of Horror Advent Calendar. Today is day 7 of the calendar here on Friday, October 7th, and today we're talking about Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street is a 1984 classic written and directed by Wes Craven, one of the masters of the horror genre, known for giving us The Last House on the Left and uh, The Hills Have Eyes. I mean, this guy helped define horror uh, early in his career and, of course, later on uh, from our pick from yesterday in yep. Scream. But this is the movie that really launched him into the mainstream. I remember as a kid the idea of Freddy Krueger, this uh, evil, burned pedophile <laughs> who could attack you in your dreams was the scariest thing. Going to sleep at night going like, oh man, I hope Freddy doesn't get me. And I think that's one of the most effective things about Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, no, totally. It is. It's an extremely scary uh, like subject matter. It's a really scary concept um, because you have to fall asleep. Yeah. You know, they, 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 as hard as you try, you're gonna fall asleep at some point, and as soon as you fall asleep, you kind of pass in that insomnia. Mm -hmm. You know, like that realm where you just all of a sudden you're in Freddy's world, and he's gonna get you. Yeah, it's it's <clears throat> that unavoidable thing. We all have to close our eyes at some point. So I think that for a little kid, this oh, is scary. one of those, this is the most frightening concepts in any film. Um, it is starring Heather Langenkamp as Nancy, a woman who is a young girl in this movie. She's being uh, plagued by these awful dreams. Her and her friends are being picked off one by one by this shared uh, demonic character in Freddy Krueger, and they try to pick to try to figure out anyway why Freddy is targeting them and, and killing them. I think Freddy Krueger is one of my favorite, like, slasher villains. Totally. Because he's the most creative. Yeah, I think, you know, that, I think that's one of the things that sets him apart is he has a lot of personality. There's so much There's so much you can do with that. Like, uh, you know, like how the Saw movies, kind of the way they, uh, they use the creativity to kill people in, mm -hmm. you know, in the modern movies now. Sometimes they go a little too creative. I think, yeah, a little too creative, but that is like you kind of, you get to build like the world and like yeah. the realm and like the scene and everything that gets built into that. You know, I especially love the first one because it's before a lot of the camp got injected into it. Like, he was still kind of this funny character with a lot of personality, but it wasn't... The, 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 the humor wasn't the main goal of this yeah. movie. It was legitimately scary. It's sadistic. Yeah. Robert <laughs> Anglin puts his stamp on this character in this very first film. And there's also a very interesting cameo with uh, J uh, Johnny Depp with some pretty flock of seagulls hair going on in this one. It's a great... It's a great... Uh... It's a great movie moment as well. Yeah. Well, I think it's his, first, memorable... it's his first film. It's his it? first film, yep. So, guys, that's been our short review today of Nightmare on Elm Street. Remember to follow along with us all month long. We're going to be reviewing a horror movie for you guys every single day. Remember to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Tell us what you think about Nightmare on Elm Street or even just Wes Craven in general. Also, remember, follow us on Twitter at back to feature We'll chat with you guys about movies all day long. I've been Giovanni Carlo. I'm John Bandaloo. And we'll see you guys tomorrow.